It's time once again for the Real People Multi Game Solitaire Mega Tournament. We have just finished the first propaganda card of this game of a distant plane in the Baralti leg of the Real People Multi Game Solitaire Mega Tournament. And uh, we are we have activated and done everything on the first card. So what's happened? Well, Betty Crocker had first choice on the card and decided, look at the next card, mm, yes, I'll do Ops plus Special Activity. And that's what uh, the Shogun did. Shogun Betty Crocker did Ops plus Special Activity, did a big sweep into the countryside. If you recall from last time, he had all his forces back in Kabul because of the propaganda phase. They all had to go somewhere else, and that was Kabul. Um, did, he did a good job of kind of doinking most people except the Taliban. Uh, he took took control of this space, though he just lost that, actually. So I'll have to update that by going down to here and up to here. And then he also took control of this space and control of this space. And he did some governance here, which gave him some more patronage. Brought him up some points, took some points away from, um, yeah, what's her name? Sorry. Pinky, of course. Took some points away from Pinky, who was close to victory. So he did. It was it was a pretty good turn for him, uh, but his governance took away from the aid and brought it into patronage. And I don't think it actually removes two from the aid. There we go. Okay. Then after that, the next two uh, factions pass, and that's because this next card is big. Arrow stats. Uh, it has a coalition capability that could affect either side for good or ill, and they both wanted to at least have their hat in the ring in order to work on that. Um, obviously, the coalition player gets first dibs, Pinky, uh, but you know if the Taliban wasn't there, then Pinky would less likely you know have to choose the event. Um, so the Taliban might be able to get an ops out of special activity out of it after being there. So then we're at tribal elders. Both of these passed. Uh, Junior is like, I don't really care about tribal elders. You know, it's it's a rare opportunity for the warlords to be able to use tribal elders, which is kind of odd. But he decided not to, and instead he rallied here as a limited ops and kind of brought things back, which is why I had to remove that control marker and thus give him some points back. All right, now our pinky with all of her shoes is confronted with an embarrassment of riches. So if we look here, there are two separate cards, bank and bank, that she has first dibs on, uh, potentially, and that give her some superpower that she gets for the rest of the game. And it's still pretty early in the game. We have one campaign done, but there, this is a six campaign game, so there's you know most of the games left. Uh, that's, a, that's a little bit of a tangent. Um, I really like having um, these campaigns for video purposes because then I can think, okay, there, each video is one campaign and there's kind of this um, built-in starting and stopping point. And when playing um, this game's sister game, Cuba Libre with others and And in Abyss with others, it's nice to have these propaganda cards as sort of a break. Okay, we'll take a break and, you know, people who smoke cigarettes can smoke cigarettes and people can get food or whatever during that time. Uh, so it's nice to have that. Uh, so back to this, Pinky has to decide which card does she want to act on and what does she want to give away. So if we look at this one, the good stuff on this is just kind of makes things harder for Sunny, right? It adds one extra resource per space when they march, which is good. The bad stuff, again, it's all very Taliban centric. So flips one active Korea underground per card. So each time a card goes by, that's going to allow uh, Sunny to put someone underground, which is really nice for him. Pretty nice ability that he'd get for the rest of the game. And it's a nice event for him to take, assuming she passes, because there's no one else to, to, uh, to get the office plus special activity on the card. Looking at the next card, after training, the coalition could add one police free from anywhere to any one space with coalition troops anytime she does the train. And now it's coalition after training. It's I'm assuming it means when just when the coalition trains, not the government. Uh, and the bad stuff, if someone else takes the bad event for her, uh, each coalition training places no more than one police per space. Now, so this is a little bit of a trickier thing because police are maybe less flashy, but they're very integral to the government role. And I'm going to assume Pinky understands that. So I'm going to assume that Pinky 
I don't know. She doesn't really have it out for the Taliban, even though her side in the game has it out for the Taliban. So I think she's probably going to pass on this card and take the three bucks. And I just made that decision now. I wasn't sure of that. And then that's going to leave it to Sonny, who is definitely going to... Well, no, he's not going to definitely do anything. Is he going to take this? Sonny likes to be protective of himself, so I think he is going to take the event. Uh, no one's really breathing down his neck right now. Take the event, kind of slowly build himself back up, and get bomb kites and weather. And then we'll move on to the next card, which is village st stability operations. So Pinky took the special power on village stability operations. That means that she is going to, um, whenever they train, they get one police free from anywhere to any one space with coalition troops, which is nice because then, you know, they can use Police are kind of hard to get out into the provinces, especially at least in the other coin games, and I'm assuming in this game as well. So, and you need police to, to get support. So she can she can now get police out places. She just has to use her valuable troops in order to do that, have them out there, and then they can get some police presence, which is nice. Um, looking at our other special abilities that are out there, every time the Taliban marches, they can put one of their people underground, which is nice. They can be sneakier. And then training only puts four per space instead of six, which is different. So she did that, which gave Betty Crocker yet another Ops Plus special activity before anyone got to do anything. He chose to do another sweep um, to deal with these pieces here and also to come into here. Uh, and then after that, he eradicated two bases, which got a bunch of aid for him, got some more patronage for him. Uh, he's really kicking Junior's tail in the north here. Junior's not going to be too happy. Also um, moved Balch. I love it when there's like an H after a K. I think that's a good combination of letters. Um, Balch is now opposing the government. So Junior came back with a rally here and here, and then he suborned in both of those spaces. So he's trying to kind of keep his northern stronghold going so he can keep going. Uh, the north is nice because it's not uh, Pashtun, and Pashtun is very Taliban-centric. Uh, makes it harder to do things where, you know, if it's not in Pashtun, it has a little bit more ability, a little bit more uh, security as well. He just has to get the government off of his butt there. Um, and he's starting to do that. He's, he really kind of rallied back in Kunduz, got rid of all government presence. Hopefully he can rally again before the government comes back in too strong. Um, and then in bulk as well, he got rid of some government as well as put down another base. He needs to have bases on the table in order to get more guerrillas on the table. An interesting pairing of cards. I thought at first maybe it was because it was the first time I played this game and I'm not a very good shuffler, but these numbers are not in sequence. So I think maybe it got shuffled and it just so happened that we have two different cards that have um, the same effect here, the top event effect. The bottom event effects are different. So the top event effects are I'm listening and feathers smoothed. So listening is is the same as smoothing feathers uh, from the perspective of this game. They both shift Islamabad, which is this, two spaces this way. So it would take it to pressure. Um, the opposite effect would bring it to sponsorship here, or it would give the Taliban resources and also government eligible through next card. Now it's it's Pinky's call as to which way she's going to go on this card. Um, the Taliban hasn't been a real problem for her. It's kind of her natural enemy in this game. But really the the main problem for her has been her own ally, which is the Shogun Betty Crocker. He's removed op or removed support from her in numerous places. Also added opposition. Not super happy with him right now. Um, she also hasn't had an ops with special activity for a while. However, maybe what she's thinking is she can do something to the Taliban here, and then maybe the Taliban will do this event, which will keep the government ineligible through the next card, which means they're ineligible presumably on this card, as well as the next card. Now, Pinky's gotta be thinking if she does the event, and then the Taliban passes, then the government's gonna act on this card. 
become ineligible as a result of the Taliban on this card and then be ineligible on the next card. Or, well, already be ineligible. So what's she going to do? She likes the idea of moving it this way. They can't rally in Pakistan. Maybe she can shore up here. However, without doing the opposite of special activity, these areas are both very vulnerable right now. However, again, it would take two movements for, for the Taliban to be able to do anything to her. I think Pinky is someone who would like events. Some people are more event-centric in this game and others are more operations-centric. Um, I think, hmm, I'll have to think about that. All right, and she did go through the for the event, which is going to make things interesting because then so, that prompted Sonny to pass. Um, he passed partially because he figures the government is, you know, the government has no incentive to act to to pass to act on this card, right? And so he figures the government is then going to do something uh, big to Junior. Now I haven't determined what the government is going to do their action, but they've definitely got Junior set up for some assaults, um, right, in order to get rid of these these activated guerrillas since Junior hasn't had an opportunity to act on, or he did, but he didn't, right, he must have done a limited operation or something. So Sonny, by doing that, is able to um, kind of keep himself in the game on this card, and then also hurt Junior in the process, and then also potentially be able to hurt Betty Crocker. He's not doing anything to help himself, however, and I don't know if he's thinking about that or not. Um, this uh, pressure from Pakistan is definitely uh, cause, is going to cause him some, some problems. Although I'm not sure if such a thing exists, this may be an atypical game of a distant plane. Uh, well, it definitely is, but one reason it is is that Sonny is not cooperating so well with Junior, uh, which is not to say that they're natural allies per se, but given the way that Betty Crocker and Pinky, or rather the government and the coalition forces are supposed to work together, um, to counterbalance that, you would think the Taliban and the warlords would work together somewhat just in terms of when the when the coin forces seem too strong, they would work together. But so far, Sonny hasn't felt too much pain from the coin forces. Most of that pain has been on Junior's shoulders. Thus, when this card comes up, it seems like he could make some deal with Junior. Um, were I in his shoes, I might make some deal with Junior involving the sharing of the resources so that uh, maybe one of us could act on the next card and you know one of us would work on the event on this card But that's not the case with Sonny right now And so we're seeing an atypical game uh, which might make for an imbalance Which I'm predicting might give some strength to the coin in this particular plane of a distant plane Muhammad Karzai has just visited Islam is bad, and that did not involve the government player who presumably has Karzai on his um, his payroll at all. Instead, it involved a decision between Sonny and Junior, and that decision was that Sonny would pass in order to to act on this next card, Loya Jirga which he can only have first dibs on this next card if the event is done on this card. So he would give the finances from this card directly to Junior after this card, which is six. And if you recall, Junior was low on money, so that's very helpful to Junior to suddenly get six dollars um, in order to, on the next card, be able to act. Um, so that's what happened. Junior took the event, they did their deal, and it worked out. Bad for Betty Crocker, but Betty Crocker was hammering Junior pretty hard, and it works out for Sonny to be able to act first on this next card without the government interfering. So win-win, they did the deal. Um, we're not gonna. I don't. It'll be interesting to see how many deals happen between Sonny and Junior. They don't really get along too much, 
but this is a case where it was kind of uh, win, win, win. And when you have three wins, that's enough wins uh, for, for, for anyone. The card is Loya Jerga, and um, Sonny opted to use the event in order to get some opposition going in the countryside here, here, and here, I think is where it was. Anywhere that was neutral, three places. He got some points, which is nice for him. Um, but is he going to be able to keep those points? I don't know. It's hard for the government to, to turn those areas uh, back to support the need police presence. However, um, after doing that, Pinky was able to do her very first Ops Plus Special Activity of the campaign uh, in order to get some infrastructure in place in order to start turning these oppositional areas back towards um, support for the government. So she went in both Paxton areas here, Pashton, sorry, I don't know why I say Paxton, Pashton areas here, uh, did some training, got some bases down along with a surge, and it's just, that's what's going on there. So we're seeing a little bit more action across this Taliban um, coalition poll, whereas most of this campaign has been about Junior and the Shogun. Betty Crocker opted for an inactive Karzai. Karzai is either neither going to be positive for him nor negative. Instead, Karzai gave him an ops with no special activity. He did not want um, the, I want to say the cartel, <laughs> the warlords to act on this event. So he did that. The warlords opted to pass instead of doing the limited op because they're going to have first dibs on this change of tactics card, which is exciting for them. We're looking at an interesting pair of cards here. We have change in tactics followed by strategic release. They're interesting because they're kind of one size fits all tactics. They're, or they're not tactics, the, the events on either can be used by all parties involved. So change in tactics can remove one of these capability things. And strategic release get, makes, kind of puts this randomizing effect uh, in the play anytime uh, the the coin forces do an assault so they can either make it so that um, It's more likely there's a 66 per point six bar percent chance that they get more cubes every time they assault from the enemies But there's also a one in three chance that um, the removed Koreas uh, Don't die and that they instead regroup so an interesting choice right now I think for pinky because the warlords, they're not particularly uh, interested in, in removing any of these things. They mainly just inhibit or help the opposing forces. doesn't really have a lot to do with them. So they're going to be doing ops plus special activity. I haven't really determined what Junior is going to do yet. And then, so Pinky then has to decide whether she wants to act on this or act on the strategic release. Nice thing about the strategic release is whoever does it gets to stay eligible. Not nice thing about it is, you know, we've got a substantial number of cards passed already, so it could be that the propaganda is coming up right away anyway, and the strategic release doesn't go into play. She may decide to just act on this card, um, because if someone does do this event, it doesn't really affect her anyway. It's kind of an uh, esoteric thing, but, uh, uh, but fun. It would be fun to, to do. I just don't know if it's going to happen. As Junior's making up in his mind on what to do, I thought I'd pull back and just kind of look at the, the situation right now. Um, we're seeing, you know, Betty Crocker and Junior just kind of poking at each other again and again. More Betty Crocker running after him and Junior just trying to hang on in the north. It's kind of the, the back and forth that's been happening. At the same time, I guess Pinky's finally started to come, come out here, brought some forces uh, from, from the states or from wherever they are. Um, into play, uh, but for the most part, the Taliban hasn't really been doing much overt. They've they're in Pakistan, but they no longer get to rally there. So that's this Islamabad track. The movement towards hostility has really stymied Sonny's efforts. He can't really mount a very good assault on anywhere because he doesn't have any real backup. Um, you know. He's got his bases here, and they're pretty much untouchable. But at the same time, um, there's going to be no replenishment. So he has to be very careful about what he does with his forces. And Sonny is typically a careful player anyway. He's not doing terrible. He's got a lot of opposition out there, and there's really not much support for the government. But 
he's not a, a, a very physical presence on the map. And so uh, Betty Crocker is, is more just um, more just working working on getting rid of Junior. Yeah, it's kind of kind of been what's going on. So Junior's decided to concede bulk. Instead, he's building back up in Condus, and then he also decided to take a poke over here in Herat. Uh, so he cultivated in order to put a base down and then uh, follow that with a, a rally. He's thinking he's going to use this as a kind of a training source to start flooding into the, the LOC, something that he maybe would have done sooner had the Taliban kind of kept the government uh, occupied enough for him to sort of build up some forces, but he kind of got attacked right off um, pretty early on uh, due to a, a sort of sleepy Taliban. Now, although we may be nearing propaganda, Betty Crocker took the strategic release. I, I think it appeals to his sensibilities, having some sort of game-changing effect like that, and he hopes to maybe do some assaults soon. He could have retaliated, uh, done something against Junior, uh, possibly patrolled. He maybe also would have trained because... Um, partially because Pinky got rid of the training cap uh, that was in play, the night letters. And so, but instead he decided just to go with that. Also, he's getting low on money. Um, and, you know, although the propaganda could be coming up, it could be, you know, around nine cards away. So it could, you know, we'll see what happens with that. Um, another, another reason he did it is because he wants to give Sonny the opportunity to do, and kind of force him to do an Ops Plus special activity. He wants... Um, Sonny to kind of get his hand in a little bit more, uh, maybe distract some of the others so that he can continue his march in the north to maybe control up here. And Sonny's Taliban are on the march. They set up a kind of a base of operations there. They're good. They, Sonny hopes to turn that into a base of operations up in Bag, Bag Kis. Um, they also have some, some griots on the most important LOCs here. I think they're trade routes from Afghanistan to, to Pakistan, and that's... That's maybe what makes them so valuable. He almost extorted on them, uh, which would have given him some much needed funds. But instead, he decided to move into Nuristan and um, knock back the government a little bit, partially because the government um, is doing really well and getting close to his goal. So Sonny did that. So it kind of, it kind of Betty Crocker kind of forcing Sonny's hand or giving him this opportunity anyway, kind of came back to bite Betty Crocker. Uh, you know, now the Taliban's moving in the north, maybe is going to be hurting his resources, um, but still, hopefully that will keep maybe the others a little bit busy, and also took some uncontrolled areas away from Junior. So not the, not the worst thing in the world, but I think overall, it's probably not at least immediately beneficial for the Taliban to be acting uh, in terms of um, Betty Crocker's perspective. After Junior did some more rallying, uh, really built up in the north here, and then also improved his position in Herat, I've come to kind of a rules quandary in terms of how Pinky can do this card, desertions and defections. She would certainly like to do it. Uh, she, she'd prefer Junior's pieces to be in some particular Taliban areas. However, it doesn't seem like... Uh, the rules are kind of ambiguous on, on this instance. So if it were... Junior doing this card, he could replace Taliban pieces with his own. However, since it's Pinky, she's not supposed to be allowed to do that. So how I'm going to rule, and I bet this is wrong, but I like this, so I'm going to do it, um, is that Pinky can do it, do the card. Uh, the, the, the reason why it's a problem is because Junior's out of forces available, so he should be able, to, he should have to take from elsewhere on the map n normally. Um, Pinky can activate the card. But Junior's the one who, and she can decide which pieces are replaced of the Taliban, but Junior decides where the replacements come from, if that makes sense. So she's going to do two here, and I think Junior's going to pick one there, and there's one from here, which should make for an interesting situation, uh, given that that's, that's really Sonny's only base in Afghanistan right now. And then where else does she want to take one from? I guess she could take one from here and get rid of the Taliban control there. Or does she want to take it from... She's not really cons too concerned about the Taliban having control there, though. I mean, that, that's a Pashtun place. 
maybe here, to kind of try to force a conflict there. Although he is right across the border, which maybe would improve that con conflict. So he's going to take that one and put it right there. And there we go. A little bit of a patchwork, but I, I, I feel good about it. I feel, I feel happy. I feel content. So Sonny was able to take back a bit of ground. He got uh, his base in Baghdis due to some, some fancy footwork. And what else did he do? I think he just did some, some rallying, right? Just got some more pieces on the board to, to play defensively in Zabul as, as well. Uh, probably should have done something with those LOCs that he was sitting on. Those were pretty ripe, but uh, Betty Crocker used the opportunity to do a patrol, uh, activated this fellow, got rid of this fellow, used the strategic release to get a new cube there. So that made it all worth it. He got a cube out of it. Uh, we'll see if more cubes, free cubes, will happen in future assaults. I'm excited for that. Uh, next card whoop is going to be Contractor Surge! And then Propaganda. Fun! And the contractors were a blessing for Pinky. She was able to get some much needed support going. She's been falling since, since the uh, prior campaign. Partially because she just uh, hasn't been doing a, a lot of stuff beyond events. And I think that's generally going to get you in this game. But once again, she did an event, and this time it was helpful. Better for her than probably the limited operation, but we'll see. Um, she was able to get some support in Kandahar, which was nice, and it also removed some opposition. So if we look at our track here, going into the propaganda, oh, and what else happened? Uh, Junior did some, some marching. He got onto some LOCs, which is something he's been desperately needing to do in order to get some money. That's a big source of income, I'm guessing, for the warlords. Not guessing, but that's what it looks like. Um, and so he needed to get that down. He also got some more, uh, another base down via cultivation, which is going to be a continuing source of money as well, and more people to get on those LLCs. So if we look at where things stand as we go into propaganda, let's take a look. So the Taliban, they're at 12. They need to get to 21. That's not, doesn't appear too far, but I think it's kind of hard for them to make that ground. I mean... Yeah, especially, I mean, this is going to be moving back to tolerance, I think, which is going to be good for, for Sunny, but it's still, uh, it's, it's different scales, so a point isn't a point. Uh, one point for one person is not necessarily the same amount of effort as one point for another. Uncontrolled population, that's pretty close, but uh, once again, Junior's way far away in terms of money, so that's why he's really got to get into these LOCs. Probably, it's probably one of the first things the Warlords wants to do is get the, the pieces there so they can start um, uh, getting tolls for, for every time someone passes by. But there's still going to be some movement, so we'll see. Um, Looking at Pinky Pinky's not too far away, really. She could withdraw some troops. Um, but she still doesn't have much support out there. She could be buying some of this propaganda, likely. Uh, but if you look, she really only has support in Kandahar and Kabul, which is not much in the, you know, Betty Crocker's been pretty liberal with taking away her, her support. And then finally, we have Betty Crocker, who's really, I think, probably the closest to winning right now. Um, but the situation looks to be turning against him. So although point-wise he seemed to have had the best campaign, there was kind of a downturn at the end. Um, and we'll, we'll see what, what happens with that. So I'm going to go through the rest of the propaganda phase, then I'll just kind of check back with you to end things off. And that will end off this episode of the Real People Multigame Solitaire Mega Tournament. That's going to do it. I'd say the propaganda phase went well for Junior. His money is getting back up. He's getting close in the uncontrolled. Uh, if you look at the board, it seems like Junior has a pretty nice presence here. Maybe even be able to make Kabul uh, uncontrolled if he, if he works at it. Um, definitely these LOCs are the way to go. Uh, but speaking of LOCs, Betty Crocker has really buffed them up with police forces uh, and in doing so took police out of, out of um, areas that Pinky maybe would have liked him to keep his police. But, you know, uh, the, the police are nice to have there because it's going to make it much more difficult for people to sabotage those, those juicy routes between Afghanistan and Pakistan. And also, he doesn't really care about support. Uh, it's, support is nice for him because he can then get rid of the support in order to get more graft. But um, other than that, it doesn't really have 
much use for him. Uh, maybe he can do some sort of rallying or something in places with support. But it, it, it's nice for him to get rid of uh, support or to um, not buttress support, especially now because Pinky is fairly close. She could just bring some troops home at the right time, right before the next propaganda phase, and then be able to take it.